So we're here now at the Farm Experience at Agria. I'm Chef Patrico and this is Farm to Fork. So today we're cooking calderetang kambing. Today we're using uh, ribs and some leg. Our goat actually is from um, Nest Farms. So since our goat is quite young, we're using the leg para mas madami tayong meat ma. So we can do kilawin, ito kaldereta, sinigang, papaitan, sinampalukan. There's a lot of dishes actually. So right now we have our meats. We're cutting it into one inch cube. So now we have our Goat. We're gonna season it with salt and pepper. We have our hot pan here. We're just gonna put a little bit of oil. So searing helps emit the funky taste that you always expect when you're eating goat. Although if you get good goat, it doesn't have that gamey flavor. So we have um, salt. And pepper. So always season your meat before searing them. Make sure it's evenly coated. When searing your meat, make sure your oil and pan is nice and hot. You want a deep brown crust. Don't put meat in a cold pan. It won't sear, it'll just boil the moisture and pang it siya. So our pan is nice and hot, ready to sear our goat. So you want that sound, you want that sizzling sound. That means your pan is really nice and hot and you're gonna get a very good crust. Also a tip, don't overcrowd your pan. It will lower the temperature and you end up with a cold pan again. So we have atzal, remove the top. Slice it in half, remove the seeds. Our atzal, we're just gonna slice it into cubes. So take a look, this is what you want, a very golden brown color. We're just using one pan. We're not gonna wash this pan after we sear because the flavor is in the pan and we need to have that till the end of the dish. Next is carrots. Cubes for then. So we're not adding all our vegetables together because there are some vegetables that cook faster than the other. So timing is everything. You don't want mushy vegetables on your caldereta. Okay, so you have your carrots, then you have potatoes. Cubes pa rin. Very nice. So our goat meat is nicely seared. Ito yung gusto natin, no? Very dark. Now our goat is nicely seared. We're gonna add our aromatics. That's onion and garlic. What to add first? Onions. Don't add it at the same time because onions take longer to cook. Garlic easily burns, okay? Just about half an onion diced. So, tay muna natin. No need to brown the onions. Just need to saute it a bit para release the flavors. Okay, now add the garlic. This is about four cloves of garlic. Chop. Importante, ajo sa sibuyas, caldereta. And all other Filipino food. So our garlic and onion is nicely sautéed. We have Spanish chorizo. If you don't have Spanish chorizo, you can use regular chorizo from the Palenque. Pork, any type, as long as it's not sweet. More of the garlicky flavor, mas masarap. No need to remove the casing, sama nyo na. Yan. Chorizo adds more flavor to your dish. Next, we're gonna add our 
at sal. We have liver paste. This is canned liver paste. You can also use fresh. Um, this is pork liver. It's easier to buy na lang kesa you make your own. We're adding a lot. We're adding everything. Liver paste gives more umami, gives more body. Liver paste gives more structure to the dish. When you taste it, di mo naman matikman yung liver eh. So at Asian Cow, we also have a dish similar to this. Although we're using beef and it has tomatoes. Today we're using goat and walang kamatis. But we're using more liver paste and getting more color to it. Okay, nice. Next up, let's put water. You can also use chicken stock, beef stock, any stock. Pwede yung buto kanina. You boil it in water, you get the stock and use it here. Mas flavorful pa. So we're just gonna cover this up. Let it simmer a bit for around maybe 10 minutes. Then we'll add our potatoes and carrots together. So kita niyo, the sauce is a little thick na because of the liver paste that we added. And the color is dark brown like a gravy na because of the searing that we did. So now we're adding the potatoes. Then, carrots. So, add a little more water. Let's pa simmer natin. From this point, we now season it. Salt. Pepper. Okay? Cover again. Pag lumambot yung vegetables, we're ready to go. Wow! Sobrang bango. So, kita nyo, the carrots and potatoes, it's still intact. Kasi yung timing natin sa paglagay ng vegetables, maganda. It's not mushy. You want the vegetables na may bite pa rin. Hindi matigas, hindi din sobrang lambot na papuntang mash na. Also, our goat, malambot na. Finish na lang natin with pinya. We have pinya. To complete the caldereta dish. Then a little touch of cream. This is regular all-purpose cream. Makes the dish more creamy and adds more body. Okay. We're just gonna taste it kung okay na ba yung seasoning niya. Ito, medyo matabang pa. We're gonna add a little more salt. Paminta. Pepper. Guys, this is our calderetang kambing. It smells so good. Very tender na yung goat natin at saka yung mga gulay. We're ready to plate. So we're just gonna garnish it with sliced na spring onion. This is our calderet ang kambing. I'm Chef Patrick Ko. See you next time at Farm to Fork. What's that, El? Membrane? Wala mong brain ng atsal. We can now add our vegetables now. So we have carrots. Sorry. One more time. Na hindi to carrots, ma'am.